Hey everybody, so today I'm just going to be doing um, the, let me see, I got to go on the website real quick. The 28 Old Wives Tales, Jennifer predict Prediction. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I just got a piece of paper, so I'm just going to write it because I don't know how to put it on each side of the um, of the screen. So, But I'll let you know at the end. Um, are you moody? Um, if you are, that means you have a young girl. And yes, I definitely have been a lot more moody. Um... Which breast is larger? I guess my left. It says it's a girl if your left breast is larger. So that's another one for girl. Do you have dark nipples? No, they haven't really changed any color. So, um, uh, uh, do do. No. <laughs> Here, take this over there. If you eat garlic and and the order sweeps out of your pores, you're having a boy? No. No garlic. Um, so that's a girl. Um, if your urine is bright yellow, it's a boy. And yellow, I mean dull yellow means a girl. Um, that one's kind of hard because, I mean, it really determines on how much you drink. drink. So, I mean, mostly during the day, it's like a light, light yellow. But, I mean, right in the morning, it's... Um, bright yellow so I go with what is usually during the day so that's a girl um, if you've experienced heartburn and indigestion during your pregnancy then you are having a boy yes I have had a lot of heartburn so that's a boy um, morning sickness that means you're having a girl. Yes, I have definitely experienced more sickness than I still am. Dad? Yes, baby. Um, Dad. The heart rate. Yesterday I went for my first ultrasound. Yay! So, I will show you the um, pictures of, from that on Friday. So, keep looking for that. But, is the heart rate over 140? Yes, it is over 140. So, that means that it is a girl. The heart Dad. rate is actually 160. Um, if you crave salty foods, it's a boy. If you crave sweets, it's a girl. I have definitely been craving, um, salty foods. So, yes, that's one for boy. If the dad gains weight, then it's a girl. And if he stays the same, it's a boy. Well, I personally haven't noticed a difference, but I know he's been saying that a lot of people at his, um, job have been asking if he's still going to the gym because he has gained a little bit of weight so I'm guessing that'll go towards a girl um, if it's a girl if you get acne um, so yes I have definitely gotten acne I'm sure you can tell I don't have to point them out too much but yes I have gotten acne and I hate it you say it's because the little girl is stealing her mother's beauty that's fine she can steal it all if it's a girl. I hope it is, though. But, um, <laughs> if you have that line on your belly, if it goes under your belly button, that means it's a girl, and I don't have that, so. Right, yeah. So that will go for a boy. <laughs> what? Come here. Come here. Do you have dry hands? It's a boy. And no, I do not have dry hands. They have been about the same. So that's another one for girl. Um, more hair on your legs than normal counts for a boy. I do have to shave a lot more often. So yes, I will put that as a boy. Um, if your nose is getting bigger and wider, expect a boy. Um, I haven't really noticed if my nose has gotten wider, but I no have noticed that was last week or week before last right on the sides of my nose um right on the sides of my nose it was um what is it called it was getting like that peeling stuff so that would go towards the boy um 
if your nose swells, it's a girl. And if it's a pre-pregnancy, mm -hmm. it's a boy. So, I mean, I ha like I told you, I haven't really noticed anything. So, I guess that will go again towards a boy. <laughs> if your face swells and gets rounder, it's a girl. If your face is long and narrow, it's a boy. Um... I don't know. I guess I would say that was a boy because I don't think my face is like extra round. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Are you tired? Come here. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, where was that? Okay. If you have cold feet, no, my feet have not been cold, and it says if you have cold feet, it's a boy. So. I don't know, you hit in my stomach. If your legs are really big, that means a boy. If your le legs are in shape and lean, then it's a girl. Um, I've always had real thick legs, so I don't know. Um, I guess that'll go for a boy. Ow, Elijah. If you find yourself clumsier during pregnancy, it's a boy. Um... Cheese. Cheese, yes. Um, no, I haven't found myself any clumsier. Yeah, Other cheese. than, you know, the occasional, but, I mean, nothing cheese. dramatic. Cheese. Okay. Um, how am I, Yeah. Yes. Cheese. I'm sorry, y'all. Bear with me. If you're carrying low, it's a boy. <laughs> you can elbow me in my belly and it hurts. Yeah, if you're carrying low, it's a boy, and if you're carrying high, it's a girl. Um, I'm so early in this, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, so I guess I'll be saying carrying low since I do have a little pudge. So, I will put that towards the boy. Um, the ring thing, if you ever did, like, the, um, put the ring on the string, and if it goes in a circle, it's a girl, and if it goes in a line, it's a boy. Um, I have done it, and it was it did to have a girl. It's not a wolf, a girl. Um. Well, this one I can't do because I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It says, <laughs> when you ask to show your hands and you immediately show your palm, it's a girl. Palm down, it's a boy. So that's kind of crazy, but I don't know. Hey, baby. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, don't knock the computer down. If a toddler shows interest in you, you are having the opposite opposite sex of the toddler. For example, a girl toddler expresses interest when you are having a boy. Elijah hasn't been a lot more clingy, clingy since then. I mean, since I have gotten pregnant, so I would say that it's towards a girl. Please start rocking the computer, Daddy. Um, and this one isn't on here, but I think that was the last of them. Yeah, but um, I did the cat the cabbage um test, and I did the bacon soda. I didn't I didn't film the bacon soda one though, but the um the cabbage came back as a girl, I believe. If I don't know, y'all go watch that video and let me know what y'all think. But I believe it was a girl, and the bacon soda actually came back as a boy. So, Nyjah, stop pressing buttons, please. I'm sorry, y'all. So, as y'all can see, let me see if I can get this in here right. Okay. Girls, one. <laughs> Wait, let me see, just in case. So, girls had 15... And on that website, a lot of the questions were repeating themselves. They were just saying for boy or girl. So, 10. So, it was 15 for girl and 10 for boy. So, the girl won. So, hopefully, I do have a girl because that's what I'm rooting for. Because I do believe this is going to be my last child. So, all right. So, I will see y'all in our next video where I will be showing y'all the ultrasound pictures. So, say goodbye, Elijah. Say see you later. Say see you later. Say bye, boy. Bye.
Look at the mwah. So it's nap time. Is it nap time? Well, obviously he doesn't want to say goodbye. So I will see y'all um on Friday. Okay? So see you later. Bye.